Okay, hello again guys. Um, this is just follow-up of the uh, Part C. I just wanted to do a few dimensions on here just to show you guys how it should look. And um, I already have the video posted for finding the volume on this. So you should be able to follow that. And it'll give you the instructions how do you add, add, add volume. And then uh, subtract, subtract what you don't want and you should find a total. Okay, but why don't we put a few dimensions on this so you understand. Remember we don't want to, tr we, tr we want to not repeat a dimension from one view to another. If you show it on one view, there's no reason to show that dimension on this view. Okay, what I'm going to do right now, just for, for grins, I'm going to move this drawing out of the way because currently uh, there's probably not enough room on this drawing, so you're just going to have one drawing like this. Basically out in the middle, this is how it's going to look. Now I'm just giving myself some room between all the views so we can add some dimensions, right? And it's kind of making it look fairly even. Um, usually you want to make it an even distance between them. In this case, I'm just doing it really quick just to show you guys. So remember, the first thing you want to do when you're dimensioning, you got to have your dimension bar open, which is right here. If it's not open, first thing you want to do is uh, you want to right click here, go to your AutoCAD, and this is your dimension menu right there. And it's turned off. See, it's off, it's gone. Right click. AutoCAD and turn it on and it comes right back and sometimes it'll be floating somewhere at the top or somewhere just take it grab this little bar here at the little gray spot right here and slide it over uh, hold it down slide it over and let it go so right here if I grab it you'll notice it, it comes away from it see and what basically I'm docking it I'm taking I'm docking it on that side over there just letting it go there it is so let's start doing some dimensions now remember when you start dimensioning You've got to look at your drawing. You have to say, okay, what so what piece of this can I use as a baseline? You've got to choose a baseline so all your dimensions come from one side of this part or one corner of this part. So it could be the bottom. Usually you want to go from the bottom or from the left. Typically it's left and bottom. So why don't we start doing that first? So what we're going to do is linear dimension. First thing I'm going to do is I want to show what? Right here, height. Uh, remember your dimension uh, settings. Let's go. We need to go check that out. Dimension style. Go to dimension. Dimension style. Modify the standard. What you want to do is your primary units. Always try to go with uh, two decimal places. That's good enough for this. Decimal degrees is fine. Um, and you want to use decimal here, not anything else. Don't use scientific nothing. Decimal is fine. Um, what else? And remember, when you're trying to fit, you might have to change the scale to make it look nice on your drawing. I have 20 on this particular one. On yours, it could be something else. But again, it's it's a matter of preference. If I change this to, say, 10, watch what happens to my dimension. If I hit OK, see, so it got really small. So let's change it again and watch what happens to it. Dimension style. Go to modify. Go to fit. And I'm going to go back to 20. I'm going to hit OK. And there you go. See how it got large? And uh, 20 looks pretty decent. If you look at the whole drawing, you know, you're going to look at how to, if you're going to print this thing, can people read these numbers when it's printed? It looks OK. It should be legible enough so you can see it. Uh, also, remember, don't forget your layers. And I forgot to change my layer. So let's make my layer supposed to be dimension. OK, my layer was frozen. So let's take it unfroze. And there you go. Oh, and those are all the dimensions I was doing with the other part. Don't worry about all that. Let's get rid of it. Sorry about that. That was from something else when I was checking. And we don't care about that. So now here we go. All nice and clean, ready to go. There's 44. Now I'm just looking at this dimension here. And what else can I do on the height? There's something else I can do right here on the height, right? I'm using my bottom as my baseline, right? I want to go from the left, but in this case, the bottom is also baseline. So from here to here, I can do 12. And then from the end right here to this point here is also 44. Do I need that? No, I don't because it's already shown on the left side. And also, I did not change my thing to current. So let's change it to dimension. So now everything I do will be a dimension. Now you notice it kind of ticks it off to the side. You can grab it move it down and actually place it in the center just by grabbing the handle click it once grab the handle and you can move it around that looks cleaner 
Okay, so now I've got that. What else do I need? Well, it looks like I really don't want to. I really don't need to change. Uh, show this this cutout. It looks better to show the cutout from here. So my baseline is going to be on my left side, right? This whole left side is my baseline. So down here at the bottom, I need to show a length of this piece, right? So make sure you pick this corner. Be careful not to click this endpoint here. It should be the corner. Otherwise, you get a bad dimension. And what's the length of this piece? Okay, and you notice my text might be in the way, so I'm going to move this out of the way. All right, so, okay, I've got 100. Now, just to give myself a little more room, I'm going to slide this out a little bit more. Okay, so I slid it out. Now, it looks like I could probably also give the center of this, but, you know, being that the top view is the true circle, you really don't want to dimension to hidden lines, right? Or to a view that's hidden. You really want to dimension to a solid view, a view that you're looking at. Okay, so I would probably do this right here. Here to here. We'll move that in a second. From here to here. Notice I'm doing baseline. And what do I need here? Do I need this piece? Yeah, let's do this piece here. And from here to here. Nice baseline. Now, do I need this one right here? From here to here? No, because it's already shown down here at the bottom. So I don't need that one. All right, it's good. I already have it down here. So since I'm not going to add any more dimensions, I can probably bring this up and be okay here. That looks clean. All right, we're good there. So now we've got our nice dimensions. Remember, we're using this line here as a baseline and the bottom as a baseline. Okay, now sometimes you can deviate from that, but it can only be for like one dimension, something that can't be accessed from here. It may be too crowded. That's okay. But these drawings are fairly simple. You should easily be able to to um, define the heights from certain baselines and maintain it. Okay, so what about the width of this thing? We need to get the width, right? From the top view. Make sure you click the corner of the object, not the dimension line, because you can accidentally pick that. And what do we got? 50? Oh, but wait a minute, there's something missing here. What about the depth of this pocket? You know, let's get that first. So let's go here to here. There you go, and from here to here. You notice I'm stacking dimensions based on baseline, which is the bottom, right? This is the bottom of the baseline here. I'm still maintaining that same style, left and bottom, even in this view. Each view is bottom and left, okay? That keeps it consistent, makes it look clean, okay? On this side, I had to do the right side because there's no other way to do it. I could do it from this side here, but I want to show that there is a ledge there and it's easy. You know that that's projected across and everybody knows that's 12. So we don't need to show anything here. Uh, since this view has already got the 44, really don't need to show it. But uh, since it is a different view and it's separated, you could show the 44 just to confirm, but it's not necessary. So this, this one right here really doesn't need any dimensions, does it? Because we're about to take care of the circle position from right here. Now this is one of those things where I would do it here, but I don't go all the way across my drawing. I want to keep it clean and to the right side and close to the side that you're dimensioning on, okay? So there you go. So everybody can figure out the thickness of this. They can figure out the position of this circle, of the, or the hole, actually. Uh, what else? You've got the width. You've got these pieces already all done. You know what those are. Um, you know where all this is at. You know, you, So everything's defined here. Everything's defined here. Um, what else do you need? Really, there's nothing else. So in this case, this view did not need any dimensions. So we're just going to slide it back over a little bit. And we're going to bring this one in a little bit to get a little closer. Keep it so they look nice and clean. Don't want to have them too far apart from each other. Keep them decent. And that looks pretty good. So I hope everybody understands this is how we're going to do dimensioning. Um, we hadn't really covered that too much in class. And hopefully this will help you guys um, Hope you guys guide you through this and get it done. Not a big deal. Just make sure your settings are set right. Okay? Thank you.